Hi YouTube world and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you a tarantula ICU, how to make one, a couple ways to revive a tarantula if it is a sick tarantula, and I'm going to also give you a disclaimer that yes I do know that I did put this tarantula on a new substrate a couple of days ago in the last video that I posted. Um, it has nothing to do with the fact that I changed out the substrate. Um, I have plenty of other teas on that same exact substrate and they're thriving, they're doing absolutely fine. So I did wanna give you a quick disclaimer there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video where I show you how to make your tarantula ICU and um, just a couple of other tips if you have a dehydrated tea, which I thought might have been the issue here. Um, it was not the issue in this case, but I will show you how to go about um, you know, trying to revive your tarantula if that is the issue. Um, I will say don't try this unless it is the absolute last straw for your tarantula. Most of the time, if there is something wrong, they can, you know, recover by themselves. Um, so like I said, unless you believe that this is the absolute last chance for your spider, do not try this. Um, but I do believe this was the last chance for her as she had been in a death curl for about an hour or two, um, hadn't really been moving, and she was not eating. Um, so anyway, we'll get into the video, I'll show you all of that, and then I'll come back at the end. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you, I have a sick tarantula here. Um, my Evie Bopis Marina, she has been acting pretty strange lately. I thought that changing out her substrate would help her. Um, it seemed to have just made her worse. I just wanted to show you guys how I hydrate her because she is sick. So I get her, I flip her upside down like this. Um, I just dripped some water on her fangs as you can see there. And I just kind of wait for the water droplet to go away. Um, she's soaking it up. Then I'll place her in the ICU unit and we'll see how she does after that but I did want to share it with you guys I know it's not the greatest to have a sick tea but anything we can do to help recover them is worth a shot so I wanted to show you guys her um, I also wanted to mention it isn't anything I've done um, she is a very old tarantula I when I purchased her she was probably a good 20 years old um, I got her for pretty cheap because she was so old, so I did want to mention that, that she is just getting really old and she's kind of been sickly the past week or so. Um, I thought she was doing better, but I guess not, so I'll get back to you guys on how she does in the ICU unit as well. Alright, so as you can see, I have placed her back into the ICU unit. Um, I just used some wet napkins at the bottom. I put a water dish in there and I just set her down. You can see she's not in the greatest of shape here. Um, just kind of happened overnight. Yesterday she was fine. I did change out her substrate with the vermiculite, but um, I have other tarantulas that are using the same substrate, so I know it has nothing to do with the vermiculite. But I did want to show you guys that I just used this plastic tub here, just a plastic shoe box with some holes drilled in the side as an ICU unit. And I'm going to go ahead and place the lid on her and we'll check back on her in a little bit. Um, just wanted to share with you guys the journey. I know it's not always great to have a sick tea so I want you all to know that you're not alone. Other people have it as well, and I did want to show you guys how to give them the best chance that you can. So I'll leave her in there in the moist ICU. I'll turn all the lights off, get her in a nice, dark, quiet place, and we'll see how she does. All right, so I hope that was a bit helpful for all of you. Um, anybody who has had a sick tarantula or, you know, if you ever do have a sick tarantula, you can go back, see this video. Um... It might be helpful if it is the last straw for your tarantula. Um, I will say this tea did not make it. Um, she was about 20 years old. So 
it was just old age, um, nothing really that I could do. I think that just changing her substrate, moving her into the catch cup, it stressed her out a bit. Um, you know, nothing of my doing, but I think it just was the last straw for her. Um, just being so old, she was just stressed out, um, you know, just letting her die in peace. Um, I do bury my spiders. <laughs> Like I said, they're my pets. I absolutely love them. So I made her up her little coffin. I do this little ritual where I put pieces of their dirt in their little coffin with them before I bury them so they have a little piece of them to move forward. Um, but like I said, I know I will get a couple of negative comments probably in regards to the fact that I could have done better for this tarantula. Um, that's okay. I have come to the terms that I know that I could have not done anything else. And I know that I did the best that I could for the time being and like I said, just old age, nothing that, um, you know, nothing of my doing. Um, and I did decide to make this video in the simple fact that I did start this channel to be educational. So I want to keep that rolling in the fact that I'm not just going to show you the fun and up part of keeping tarantulas. I will show you when there are downsides and um, a little bit of negativity in the keeping of tarantulas as well just in the simple fact that it can't all be fun there are times where things aren't so fun and where you do lose tarantulas and no matter how good at keeping tarantulas you are it's always a chance you will take um obviously having a pet you have to know it's the circle of life, it's how it works. When you have a living creature, there's a point where it's going to die. So again, just wanted to make this video for the purpose of education. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this video, if nothing else but for the purpose of being educational. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below. If you wanna see more content from me, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bye.